Alicia Keys reveals its um, difficult childhood as she shares emotional divorce letter, quote unquote, to her father. She sent her father an emotional divorce papers when she was just 14, admitting that his empty promises affected her deeply. She went on to say she's glad that they can look back at it now as a sign of how far they have come. In a caption alongside the clip, she explained that the letter features in her new autobiography, More Myself, A Journey, end of quote. Hmm. I just want to say this just makes me understand that Alicia Keys was born the right from day one. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. the words were just well put together that I felt mm -hmm. like this could be an amazing, amazing song. song as well. Yeah. yeah, so I like that they're working it through. And I think this autobiography is one that I would love to read. Um, there are a couple of autobiographies that I've looked at. I'm like, oh, this is purely business. You'll be fine. Mm -hmm. And there are some that I have I've actually um, taken a step to read. And I love the lessons that I learned from it. I feel like this will be one of those but the relationship with she and her dad now you know we had had a conversation about it on this table and um, it was more like a diverging opinion but i like the the controversy this is bringing i like the conversation it is starting mm. and i like that a lot of people will pick lessons from it that would help them in their own personal lives mm. the so. last statement is like stamped and approved um, that you just made oh, about ah, oh my approved <laughs> my oh goodness um, hey. um, about it starting a conversation not not because we've been talking about race on this table but um the black community unfortunately is one of the um highest has the highest rate of fatherless children mm. so fathers are not staying at home and it's not black as a nation as in black like race like everywhere africa america where there's a lot of black people so we have an issue at, at hand so and um i think a lot of people can relate to this um this girl um, alisha keys's relationship with her dad one way or the other some people might have healed faster or like ahead in terms of a better relationship some people are worse and some people are in the same place and things like that so i think it's really nice that she is kind of like opening up about how true the pain is because I, I one thing i don't like is when people want to like express their personal lives or fate on instagram on social media and then you come across and say yeah I'm, I'm sharing with you but you're not actually sharing anything you're just like sugar coating and making it look really nice when we're in a great place now we think which is great but like i haven't really gained or taking anything away from the story and this direction that she's taking is so vulnerable and so like exposing like she's really showing a lot and i think that's really that would really give a, a, a space for people to heal another dynamics i like is because the father is also clearly on this journey with her yeah, because you like asked he for was the one who kept the letter actually. exactly yeah. so i like that he's also willing to share that because then a lot more people can gain from this it's not just a female thing or no you know yeah bringing the parents into it so it's an amazing conversation to have um for this particular like mm -hmm. time yeah it's so amazing. Why you guys look the way you guys just turn to look at me like Kilo Vest on scene, like <laughs> Oh yeah, it's like Kilo Vest on scene finally. Okay, but um I think I think it's nice that she's showing a vulnerability and um she's showing all the girls out there that regardless of what you're going through with your parents or either your father or your mother right now, there's it's always a process and you would definitely heal and, and it takes uh, two as well. Yeah, it takes two and right now she said they're in a good place but it's still good that she's sharing this bad times that they've had the sad moments in her life where she felt alone because you know, her mom had to work long hours and she was always home alone and all of that so imagine being a young girl just with a keyboard no father around mother working long hours it's enough time for you to be thinking and then you have friends that are talking about, oh my dad did this my dad came back my dad came so imagine how she felt as a young teenager growing up and all of that and right now that she's successful they are just patching things together so this is a very good conversation for a lot of women and men out there to know that regardless of the um, rough patches you may have with your parents if you give it time you would heal and if you check it now i think it's a trend amongst um a lot of adults especially the celebrities because we've had people like kevin Hart, we've had people like drake we've had who else i think that there are a number of them mm. that had a um, very rocky relationship with their parents growing up and now they're all good so i think um just be open to forgiveness no matter what you're going through no matter what you feel like anyone is just be open to forgiveness and i'm sure mm. time heals. so i also like that um in telling the story she's making room if i can put it this way making room to also make excuses 
for the dad for the um, decisions he had made in the past. There was a past where she was talking about how he's, he's just not the confrontational person mm. from the get-go that um, him and her mom had, mm. had very separate um, personalities mm. and maybe that was the reason why they came together no, in the first place and it didn't work. There's no excuse that's going to be good enough. No, but if, <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that's why it's an excuse, right? And mm -hmm. which is why I'm saying that I like that she's making room from that for that and not saying that, oh, there is no reason at all. At the end of the day, people's personality, their traits, how he was also brought up, a lot of things will also come into play mm -hmm. in this story, which is peculiar to them and how they've been able to sit down to trash it out. But you cannot just take away all the excuses, regardless of them being excuses, and just throw them away. There are also True factors that. that need to be addressed and mm -hmm. looked into in the society. I also and sometimes like you don't know what... <coughs> sorry, go on. It's fine. <coughs> Again, I need to clear my and sometimes you don't even know what <coughs> these parents are going through at that time as well. Like, um, I remember... Um, who was it? Who was it? I think it was J. Cole. Or one, no, he's not J. Cole. Don't let me say... Okay, it's Cadet. It's <coughs> late now. Mm. He, he was always missing his dad and all of that. And he would promise he would come for birthdays and come for birthdays. But apparently he was a drug addict. Mm. So you couldn't make it. So sometimes you don't know what is going on in the life that, of this. That's what I was going to say. Well. I think when we get, as we get older, you start to see that your parents are not as great as you. Not mm. perfect. They, yes. Like I think growing up, I think oh, my mom was like flawless. Like and she, I still like. I mean, oh, but I think as I get older, I'm a lot more conscious that oh, she does have like strengths and weaknesses like everybody else. Mm -hmm. And some people, unfortunately, don't have parents that their strengths are way the weakness. And this, sorry to cause you continue, mm -hmm. but this was what Gabriel Union was also trying exactly. to say when she was saying that you cannot not, try to be perfect parents. You have yeah. to be as vulnerable as yeah. you can be that mm -hmm. would not at least scar the child. I, I think pe people also, when you get older, you realize that not everyone is fit to be a parent. And mm -hmm. I think that's where um, Alicia Keys found her healing when she realized that this person is not going to be my dad, which is what I need. Mm. Um, but what I wanted to say away from that is that I wish she would start to talk about the traumas um, of how those things have been exhibited. I think sometimes we struggle with um, inter um, translating traumas to something. So if I was abandoned when I was a child, um, I see a lot of people displaying that in, in real life in certain behaviors, but they don't, I think they forget to connect those two things. And I think it's important that you be able to identify a source of a problem. That way you can like try and help yeah. it out. I, I saw in comment sections, I mean on Twitter rather, people were talking about like whether or not that was the reason why she took this guy, what's his name, Swiss Beats sure, from... Yeah. A, from his family because there is a whole controversy up around that and how she knew that she he was in a really was married and had children and they still had an affair and everything and somebody said something about how maybe she liked that he was present with a family like the fact that he was a family mm, man that could have been the attraction. and that could have been the attraction that for me is a is not a good thing but it's i think it's a trauma on on that i could be speculating it's an angle yes i wish she would come out to like talk more about that she probably won't talk about that yeah no <laughs> Thank you.